third season as the head coach at Jackson State. He was the 2021 SWAC Coach of the Year. He said to us, this is a blessing, not just for us, but all HBCUs. If you see our band, we want you to see their band as well. This is an us thing. You know, not to take away from the game, but he's right. I mean, the Sonic Boom of the South is one of the legendary loudest bands in HBCU football. And then you talk about the human jukebox of Third Southern University. The head coach one of the most Jackson respected State. bands out there. They're going to compete at halftime. The They're going to compete pre-game, post-game. It's got everything us, you need to have in an electrifying college football see, environment. Our band, Southern has their won their the coin toss. Well. They elect this to the is the Jackson you know, State will receive the opening right. kickoff I mean, wearing the blue in the, South in the end zone, taking it out. Football. And then you talk about the human Across the 20th team on the, the, the left side, a good return knocked out at the 33 yard line. We do have a late penalty flag. It's coming on the field. Let's take a look at that. We see first call. Southern has won the coin toss. They elect to the Jackson State will receive the opening. Opening right. kickoff, I mean, wearing the blue, blue the South, in the end zone, taking it out. Football. The referee and today is Tony Ross. We will hear from his team on the first time. Good flag, blue at the end of the back of the round. We do have a late penalty flag. It's coming on the field. 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 Don't get faded and they make a personal foul call. On the opening play, they've got a personal foul that's going to take 15 yards and the field. So Jackson State gets the ball first led by their quarterback, Shador Sanders. And the way to try to get to Shador Sanders is pressure up the middle. It gets a little bit uncomfortable when you get that bull rush and get penetration up the middle. But if you can throw on rhythm, there's nobody better in America. We asked Coach Brian to break down his game. He said he has such an intellect for the game. He's been breaking down defenses since he was six or seven years old. And he's the kind of guy who he has the freedom at the line. He can make checks when he sees a defense. He can go to another play. He's in control of the offense. He's a pro pro. I think he's gotten better this year at using his legs. We know he's a pocket passer, but his athleticism is starting to show when the play breaks down. Now, creating offense. He's been breaking down defenses since he was six or seven years old. And he's the kind of guy who he has the freedom at the line. So he can check for it. Except for our first. He'll be stopped a gain of five. You see both teams bringing their A game. You know, a lot of times when Jackson State comes into the stadium, because there's a lot of noise with them, they bring the spotlight, they bring so much pressure. Teams kind of back down when they see the J. Southern University is not going to back down from the J. These teams have fought for years, and last year the Jaguars gave Jackson State the closest game of the season. A gain of five. So ready? Long third Both down, third and eight. And a lot of times Sanders throwing across the, the field is complete, but chopped down just short of the mark, so and that's going to be a yard short, kind of a gain of seven. That's complete to the tight end, DJ Stevens. Down from the J. These teams have fought for years, and last year the Jaguars tried to isolate to Stevens there in the flat route. We know one thing about it. Sanders is going to go to the right place with the football. But how about this? We're talking about feeling it. Call Stevens a little bit short. Stevens is just so fine. Lucky to go for it here early against a good Southern defense. What do you think about this call? Even the offense on the field. Caught up in the emotion right now. But he believes so much in the team that they want to dominate. But I think in this situation, nothing tells you to go for it in this situation. There we go. Fourth and one. Handoff. And he didn't get it. The Jaguars. With a stop on D, the opening drive of the game. You can't do it. Nothing says go for it in that situation. Because now Southern get the ball with great field position. We talked about the strength of Southern. But their defensive line, short yard situation, you need your D line to be there. Jason Dean's number one with a good push. And Southern gets a fantastic field position. And he first time touching the ball. The Jaguars. 
with a stop on D, the opening drive of the game. Other fans are loving it. They will have their offense come out for the first time today. They are led by their star quarterback, Michelle McCray. Short yard is great. He's not going to score early. Be there. The key for him makes quick decisions. Very effective in the RPO to run past option game. First time touching the ball. Southern man, the white looks in between him. He's got the opening to McCray. He's going to run it. A good push by defensive club for Jackson State. Important to see how Jackson State defensively reacts after the offense let him down, turning the ball over on downs. Can the defense come up with a big play, maybe a negative play, to take Southern out of field goal range? So second and 11 for Southern. Jackson State showing blitz, and it's got a flinch on the offensive line. Here come the penalty flags. Offense, number 78, five-yard penalty, the second down. That's the left tackle, Eli Fields, call for the false start. And you have to know that. You know, Dennis Thurman, the defensive coordinator for Jackson State, he knew if we get a negative play, we can take him out of field goal range, was dialing up a blitz, but the offensive lineman Fields couldn't hold it. Instead, penalty on the Jaguars. So after the penalty, brings up second and 16. McCray, good protection in the pocket. He will now step up and he will be dropped. Josh Griffith with the tackle. A loss of one. Yeah, this is a good job of how you contain a mobile quarterback. You have to stay in your passing lane. He thinks there's room to run, not a number of bodies there. Good containment defense by Jackson State. So multiple negative plays for the Jaguars offense brings third and 17. Is this potential four down territory? I think too far along. Depends on how they do on this third down. If you pick up half of it, maybe, but maybe go for a long field goal with the win. McCray will find his running back out of the backfield. That is complete to Gerard Sims. That'll bring up fourth down, and this is decision time. I think you kick it in this situation because that wind is swirling in the stadium and it's going from right to left so they have the win at their back so your kicker gets a little bit more leg a little bit more distance using mother nature as an assist so josh griffin will come on for a 43 yard field goal attempt we are told he has got an nfl style leg this guy has some strength Snap is clean. Kick is blocked. Jackson State coming up big on special teams, and we are still scoreless. Jeremiah Brown, the man who got the hand up and blocked that field goal attempt. About the start we have here. Kick is no good. Coach Prime, he is loving it. Offense for Jackson State coming back on the field after this. Listen, I need y'all to download the AMP app so you can call it in my show. Or you can call it in someone else's show. Or you can start a show and, and people can call it in your show. But either way it goes, it's all on the AMP app, so... Come on. Without the right start to your day, your morning could hit a wall. Is he okay? I got it. Belvita Breakfast Biscuits are baked with slow-release carbs and provide steady morning energy to help you rise and thrive. <laughs> Start Medicare shopping today with Walgreens FindRx coverage. Plus, find low-cost co-pays.
When you need to talk Medicare, Walgreens is here. <laughs> Walgreens. Okay, Jake from State Farm, I really want that personal price plan. Huh? Mr. and Mrs. Alvarez, I save my shrimp tails. Oh. I have a whole collection. I keep them in jars under my bed. You don't need to get that personal. The State Farm personal price plan helps you create an affordable price just for you. She also plays piano. Yeah. With my feet. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call or click to get a quote today. Welcome back to Jackson, Mississippi. No score between Southern and Jackson State. Coach Prime decided to go for it on his first drive of the game. On fourth down, they were stopped. They do get the ball here in Southern Territory. Their first drive was four plays unsuccessful on that fourth down conversion. Sanders finds Dallas Daniels on the slant. There's the first first down of the game for Jackson State. And I think you got a good look right there of the quick release that Shadur Sanders has. When he makes his decision, the ball gets there in a hurry. Quick release, accurate throw, and the ability to pick apart a defense with his pre-snap read. So new set of downs for the Tigers. First and 10 from the 32. Willie Gaines with the toss. That is considered a pass. A good gain on first down, a gain of four. And when Deion Sanders brought in Brett Bartoloni to be the offensive coordinator, he wanted some of that Mike Leach style offense, the offense that makes you play vertically as well as horizontally. Seeing jet sweeps, not uncommon for Jackson State to loosen up the defense. An early jump on the outside by the Jaguars as we have another penalty flag. Defense, number 58, five-yard penalty. First down. That's on Southern's Trey Lang jumping off sides. Correction, it would be A good time for Jackson State to get Savion Wilkerson, the running back, involved in the game. He will be a factor in this game. He wears out opposing defenses. So the ball's spot at the 23. It'll be second and one. Sanders with plenty of time. Wide open. Incomplete. Daniels couldn't hold on to it. Great job by the offensive line. Look at the protection. If they don't get to Sanders and give him this much time, he will hurt you. Right place to go with the football. Surprising drop from Dallas Daniels, the leading receiver for JSU this season. So that'll bring up third and really less than a yard for this offense. Looks like... Southern may be, bring some pressure. Handoff is to Wilkerson. Hit first, falls forward. He is spotted short. That'll bring up fourth down. A good stop by Derek Williams. You, know, you, you say if you go for it on fourth and one when you're backed up on your own 25, well, if it's fourth and one and you're in positive territory, no doubt that Coach Prime is going to go for it in this situation. Now they actually lost a yard there, so this is now fourth and two coming up. It would be a 41-yard field goal attempt, but the Tigers' offense is staying on the field. This is the big boy formation. Fourth and two. The toss to the outside, and he doesn't get it. Jaguars come up big again on fourth down. Turnover on downs. Remember earlier I told you that Southern was not going to be afraid of the J on Jackson State's uniform? Well, this is why. They know their neighbors. Conference throws long time. The defense for the Jaguars stepping up, making a huge play on the stop on fourth down. It'll be Jaguars ball when we come back. What would happen to Texas if Beto O'Rourke became governor? Beto would hammer us with crushing tax increases, crumble our oil and gas industry with his radical environmental policies. He'd destroy public safety, opening our borders and defunding the police. And Beto would demolish law and order with easy bail, putting violent criminals back on the streets. Texas under Beto O'Rourke wouldn't be Texas anymore. Wherever we come from, we all have one thing in common. 
we all want the incredible new iPhone 14 Pro. Now at T-Mobile. T-Mobile gives you Apple TV Plus included. So watch your favorite Apple Originals on iPhone's most advanced display ever. Get iPhone 14 Pro on us with Apple TV Plus included. Now at T-Mobile. Get Black Friday deals now at Target. Save on the hottest gifts to get ahead this holiday. Plus, discover new deals each week. Get low prices and great deals so you can holiday your way only at Target. Tested under pressure. Innovation driven. Powered for more. These are just some of the ways Duracell and Williams Racing are engineered the same way. And why Williams Racing trusts Duracell batteries with power boost ingredients. Duracell, engineered for more. Okay, Jake from State Farm, I really want that personal price plan. <gasps> Mr. and Mrs. Alvarez, I save my shrimp tails. Oh. I have a whole collection. I keep them in jars under my bed. You don't need to get that personal. The State Farm personal price plan helps you create an affordable price just for you. She also plays piano. Yeah. With my feet. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call or click to get a quote today. ESPN College Football is presented by McDonald's Black and Positively Golden Movement, elevating the next generation of black excellence. This was the scene earlier this week when the game day bus rolled into Jackson, Mississippi. Look how many people were out there to greet the crew as they rolled into town. What an electric weekend this 10, has been. 10,000 strong to greet the game day bus. Mm. 10,000. JSU putting on display what the Tiger Pride is all about. Welcome back, John Schriffen, alongside my partner, Jay Walker. Southern, the defense has come up big. Their offense gets the ball back on first down. Busting up the middle. Huge run by Gerard Sims. Cuts back over the middle. Brought down in Jackson State territory. What a run by the big back, Gerard Sims. Bounced off a tackler, spun across midfield, a gain of 50. Yeah, he's what they call their steady leadership, the ability to do it all, but tremendous balance, staying on course, outrunning several would-be defenders. Great run by Gerard Sims. Check that. That's a gain of 52. So the defense stepped up. Now the Southern offense has woken up. And just like that, you win the battle of field position. In a game where points may come as a premium, particularly with the weather conditions expected to change, big play for Southern. So McCray will hand it off. This is Kendrick Rhymes. Rhymes gets a couple on first down. Waiting for them to call McCray's number again in the running game. You know, they started off the game with a quarterback draw, picked up a couple yards, but his legs are going to be what becomes a difference maker for this offense. Get him going in the offense. Get those legs going. Let him get hit a little bit and unleash your best football player. Second down, McCray out of the shotgun. will hand it off to Rhymes again. And he just got back to the line of scrimmage for no gain. Great tackle there by Shiloh Sanders. Yeah, good to see Shiloh Sanders healthy playing football again. Missed the first five games of the season, but back making an impact from his safety position. When he comes downhill and puts the hit on you, plays over. The Tigers crowd trying to get pumped up here on third and nine. McCray. Looking to throw, will now step up to his right in the pocket, closes, sacked. Jason Mercier with the sack, a loss of four. Both defenses have come to play. Yeah, and the offensive line does a pretty good job. This is one where you want to see McCray just step up and settle. Instead, looking to run, and a great job by number 31, Jason Mercier, to get the tackle for a loss. All right, so this would be a 42-yard field goal attempt. 
The first field goal by Joshua Griffin was blocked. Snap is good. Kick is up. And he pulled it. No good. We are still scoreless here in Jackson, Mississippi. The boom box classic. We are waiting for our first points, but it has been entertaining so far. Take another look at the miss by Griffin. Jackson State back on offense. Red Riding Hood loved visiting Grandma's house. Unfortunately, others did too. But after saving big with early holiday deals at Amazon, she was ready for those uninvited guests. <laughs> Who's a good boy? Apparently the big bad wolf. A progressive. If you want to protect the homes and autos of those who bundle, you must become a true master. Water damage, fire damage, wind damage. I'm not getting this metaphor. Protect the home! Ready? No. Are we just cleaning your car? When you can take the ball from my hand, you will be ready. You were always ready. Then why'd I do that whole training? That was mostly for me. Confidence booster. The fully electric Audi e-tron family is here. With models that fit any lifestyle. And innovative ways to make your e-tron your own. Through elegant design and progressive technology, all the exhilaration, none of the compromise. The Audi e-tron family. Progress that moves you. Some days, you've got big things to care about. Like that. And that. Ooh, and that. Luckily, the Whirlpool Smart Range automatically updates itself with features like Air Fry. So you can worry less about keeping up with the latest tech. And care more about keeping up with the latest trends. Say cheese. Everyday care. Whirlpool. In a scoreless ball game, the defense has stepped up and made tremendous plays, particularly on fourth down. The Southern defensive line has stuffed Jackson State trying to run the football, holding the Tigers to no fourth down conversions. Take a look at how these teams match up. You see the numbers entering into today. Both teams can put up some points, but we also have two of the top defenses in the country right now. The defenses have been winning. So Jackson State with their third possession. Their first two drives, they were stopped on downs. Let's see if they can get something going here with Shador Sanders at quarterback. Working out of the shotgun, looking left, throwing and completing. Penalty flag is down. Let's see what that call is. That was complete to DJ Stevens. That may be a hands to the face, I believe. I saw Jason Dumas' his helmet come off. Normally, you'd have to leave the game if your helmet came off, but if it was an offensive penalty that caused it, Dumas can stay in the game, and this will probably move Jackson State back. Personal foul. Hands to the face. Offense number 56. Number one on the defense does not have to leave the game for one play. So that was on the – that's the left guard, Tyler Brown. Yeah, and you see Dumas is a guy, low center of gravity, and that's tough break right there, but Dumas uses his angles. The – Offensive lineman just went a little bit high. Helmet comes off. Easy call for the official to make. Coach Prime looking on. Waiting for his offense to get on track as we approach six minutes to play in this first quarter. Sanders, dangerous throw. Batted at the line. Incomplete. That's Cameron Peterson who got his hand up. Yeah, and you'll see just a good job. If you can't get to the quarterback, defensive coordinators tell you, jump, leave your feet, gets the pass, break up with the batted ball. You know, if you're Jackson State right now, you're looking at second and 20-plus, 
try to draw a play. You, you can't afford the turnover. Don't risk a turnover. They rely so heavily on the defense. Your defense has been playing lights out. Try and take advantage of the quick running game or the element of surprise with maybe a draw play getting Sevion Wilkerson involved. So Wilkerson goes out to the right. Sanders, strong throw over the middle. That one is dropped incomplete. Was looking for Stevens again. Well, you see. And this one's getting pressure. chippy early on, and here comes a penalty flag. A late flag. That could go against Jackson State. That could be Tyler Brown again. At the end of that play, Shadur Sanders was on the ground, and he and the, off the defensive lineman were kind of rolling back and forth. And I think Brown came over and saw this Out trying to protect play. his quarterback. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Number 56 of the offense. Be half the distance. Third down. So, Jay, take us through the end of this play. You see, just rolling around, that kind of happens. You know, you see your quarterback there, you know, then acting, then you're going to see Tyler Brown come in. First, it was Willis Patrick that came in, and then Tyler Brown comes in and makes contact right away in front of the official. That is a bonehead play to do that. Control your emotions in a game that's very important in this matchup. And Coach Prime told us we have to be aware of the antagonists. Yes. He said we have to be aware. We know they're going to talk. We can't fall a trap to that. Third and 29. Handoff gets across the 10. And that's why I'm surprised. The point you just made. I mean, Coach said all week they were preparing. Southern's going to try and bait us, try to get us to get personal fouls. They coached up on it, but we've seen two personal foul calls in this game already against Jackson State. If you're Jackson State, what do you have to do to get on track in this game? Settle down. You know, I think they got to stay ahead of the chains a little bit, avoid the penalties. But they're relying so heavily on this defense. And the defense is the best in the country, so that's no surprise. Sam Johnson with a short kick. Fair catch called for at the 40 by Chandler Whitfield. Let's take a look back at this game last year. 2021, Shador Sanders hugging his dad. Southern led it 17 to 7, six minutes left in the game. And Sanders threw two TD passes to Malachi Weidman, taking a 21 to 17 lead on fourth and eight, 19 seconds. Shiloh Sanders, an interception at the one. That would do it. Jackson State with a big 21 17 win. So the Southern offense. We'll start with good field position again. McCray keeps it himself. And as he stopped at the 38, a gain of three. Let's take a look at the series history between both of these schools. The 68th all-time meeting. Southern has the edge. Oh, you just saw Jackson State won the last matchup. Southern has actually won the last eight of ten. I mean, this really is one of the best rivalries in all of college football. It is, and that's why when people were saying the Jackson State fans thought, oh, we're going to blow Southern out. Wait, wait a minute. Y'all never blow Southern out. You have some good games and you win, but I don't anticipate any type of blowout. Big collision at the line of scrimmage. Nice tackle by Baron Hobson, and that'll bring up third and seven. You see the defense swarming to the ball. Hobson coming up from his... Mike linebacker position to deliver the blow. But wow, look at this defense. I mean, Southern just cannot get it going offensively. An offense that averages almost 40 points a game. They've had great field position. And they just, besides the one big run we saw from Sims earlier, they've been put on ice. The Jaguars have to get to the 31. They are 0 for 2 so far on third downs today. Third and seven. McCray pressured, hit as he throws. The pressure applied by J.T. Reagan. Well, this is just a great individual effort. One-on-one, -on -one, you've got a running back trying to block a defensive end with a full head of steam. He wins that matchup to mm. get the quarterback before he can make the throw. That looked easy. Schematically, I'm not a big fan having that running back block a defensive end like Reagan. Copy that. Jackson said, yep, copy that. So 
So Southern on to punt things away after that stop on third down. High end over end kick. Bounces in the five. Wow, did that go out of bounds? Oh. No, just made it into the end zone. A 38-yard punt was angling it for the one. Take a look at some of the best scoring defenses in the nation. Yeah, Jackson State representing for the FCS, letting up just over 10 points per game. Yeah, stingy defense, and give credit to the defensive coordinator, Dennis Thurman. He seems to have gotten comfortable in the college football level with his schemes. And ultimately, I always say, you know, to be a great coach, whoever's got the best horse that only wins the race, Jackson State has some horses on defense, and Coach Thurman is coaching them up to their potential. All right, fourth drive of the game for Jackson State offense. Let's see what Sanders can put together here, working out of the shotgun at quarterback. On first down, a throw across the middle. Travis Hunter, he is brought down. Travis Hunter, he was injured the first game of the season. Got the significant playing time last week against Campbell. If you don't know, he is the big recruit that came into this program. He's playing on both offense and defense. Yes, the Travis Hunter, the number one recruit in the country that decommitted from Florida State to go to Jackson State. Tremendous athlete. You'll see him on both sides of the ball. After a gain of four, brings up second and six. Sanders slant route, incomplete. Jumping that route, that was Kristen Davis. He almost picked that off. Fantastic break on the ball. Saw the route. And you'll see, this is how you play the cornerback position. When they're doing the slant route, you see it, you go attack the ball. Don't let it get to the receiver. And that was a great play by Kristen Davis. Really like Davis. Long cornerback, six feet two. Uh-oh. I see the ponchos coming on. We have some rain starting to fall here in Jackson, Mississippi. Third and six. Sanders caught. Where do they spot it? They complete it to Kevin Coleman. It's going to be right at the marker. And they're going to give him a first down. Uh, great concentration. Gets hit, loses the ball. But able to focus and concentrate, relocate the ball for the first down. First and ten from the 30. Sanders pump fakes, decides to take off and will slide. Got hit in his head as he goes down. No call. And it seems like these weather conditions are deteriorating quickly here in Jackson. Neither offense able to take advantage of it when it was dry. Now you got a slippery ball. Whoever can establish that running game has an opportunity to seize control. Sanders strong throw across the field. That is complete. He finds Dallas Daniels who shows off that arm strength again a six. But we do have a penalty flag. All sides. Defense, number one, five-yard penalty, replay, first down. Jason Dumas called for the flag. For the flag. Uh, and this rain right here, this is like that frustrating rain. You know, as a football player, Correction. particularly as a quarterback, you know, you can take a little rain to get used to it, but it's windy as well. So when the wind comes, you lose your accuracy. With it being a wet ball, you lose your accuracy. Got to measure if you're throwing into the wind or with the wind. And this rain right now is coming sideways yeah. right into the face of Shador Sanders. Hand off with Savian Wilkerson. He just bangs. They love how he, they call him the bang. And, and that was a collision right there. You know, that's why they love him. He's the physical guy that gets this offense going. Meeting the linebacker, Jalen Campbell for Southern, in the hole, had the forward lean to pick up the first down yardage. So new set of downs on first down. They go back to Wilkerson, makes a cut over that left side. Gets a gain of five on first down. Wilkerson told me yesterday that he loves playing for Coach Prime because he preaches that all the players have to be consistent. He said, my consistency, I call my mom every day. I've become more spiritual. He's also gotten into yoga. Here's Wilkerson showing the moves. Breaking tackles into Southern Territory. He said he does yoga every single day. It started, it was just him and the strength trainer. And now he's gotten eight or nine guys to do it with him. 
and uh, you know, in the mental aspect, so much going on. But what a great move, good piece of running there by Wilkerson. We know he's a power guy, but did you see that move, the shiftiness to make a guy miss in the open field? That's that flexibility. <laughs> he can do a little bit of everything. Back to the ground game, Wilkerson again. They've started to find something over the left side of that offensive line. I like what Coach says about him. He's a pro. You know, the transfer in from Delaware State, but he's single-handedly taking this running game on. He's their feature back, grab the position, and you can see why. He's a good one. Under 10 seconds to play here in this first quarter. Let's see if Jackson State will run another play. One second. They do get it off. Back to Wilkerson over that left side. And that's how the first quarter will end. No gain on that rush. That is the end of the first Jay, quarter. Jay, it has been all defense so far here in that first quarter. Hard-hitting conference contest. When you know your opponents, you get physical. It's scoreless. T-Mobile gives you Apple TV Plus included. So watch your favorite Apple originals on iPhone's most advanced display ever. Get iPhone 14 Pro on us with Apple TV Plus included. Now at T-Mobile. What would happen to Texas if Beto O'Rourke became governor? Beto would hammer us with crushing tax increases, crumble our oil and gas industry with his radical environmental policies. He'd destroy public safety, opening our borders and defunding the police. And Beto would demolish law and order with easy bail, putting violent criminals back on the streets. Texas under Beto O'Rourke wouldn't be Texas anymore. This book has helped me reach so many young homeowners who have become their parents. Hey, what's the lowest you'll go on one of these mugs? Well, remember, there's no haggling in stores. Ah, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. chapter six, yep. yep. They may have read the book, but they still have a long way to go. I was hoping to get your John Hancock on there. Well, let's just call it a signature. I noticed there weren't any refreshments, so I'm just gonna leave a couple of snackies. Folks, right? the line's a shambles. Let's tuck it in, sir. Come on. Come on. Okay. Oh, right. Progressive can't protect you from becoming your parents, but we can protect your home and auto when you bundle with us. Okay, we don't need a line monitor. You use a map in your car. Why not use a map with your cart? Store mode in the Home Depot app makes doing easy, showing you where to find what you need. Let's call it turn-by-turn -turn shopping. It's made for doing. Download the Home Depot app. We got all the celebrities in the house today. Earlier today, meeting with Coach Prime, that's Stephen A. Smith. He is an HBCU grad, played basketball at Winston-Salem State. He was also the game day guest picker. And, oh, yeah, he picked Jackson State to win it today. <laughs> surprise, surprise. That tells you all the eyes and the electricity that Coach Prime has brought to this area in a, in a city that needed. You know, they went through a water crisis there. He was there. They brought the winning a season ago, and it continues. Big third down, third and five on the money, complete to Dallas Daniels. Sheds off a tackler, tackled at the 29, a gain of nine. And a good job by the offensive line for Jackson State, giving Shadur Sanders time to go through his progressions, find the open wide receiver. If they can continue to protect the four-man defensive line like that, then that's a good sign for the Tigers. First and ten from the 29, a collision as Kevin Coleman received the toss, but he ran into the running back, Savion Wilkerson. And a little bit of confusion in the backfield. Misdirection. Who's going to get the ball? 
That's one of those uh-oh plays. Fortunate to only lose a yard. So they lost a yard. Brings up second down. This will be the 13th play of the dry coming up here. Second and 11. Sanders flushed out to his right. Throwing on the run. Completing. No. Was he out of bounds? Well, looks like they're trying looks to mark like him. Looks like they are giving the him catch. the catch. That is Shane Hooks, the 6'5 receiver, going up a gain of 13. Yeah, let's see. He's got to leave his feet. He is. If that first one's in, it's in. You know, from that angle, you can't tell. We should be able to look right here. You only need one foot in college football. <laughs> Blocked off. They're going to snap it early, so they don't want to review. So into the red zone, chopping the feet. This is Santi Marshall. Gets a couple. Now you see Sanders here in the pocket. Watch the quick delivery and the arm strength on the run to throw a rope down the field. Let's see if this look is going to tell if he was, uh, got to let it stand. Credit to the offense for going quick yes. at the next play. Second and eight. Go back to the ground with Marshall. Excuse me, Wilkerson, I apologize, a gain of three. And I think they should continue to do that because at the end of the first quarter, it seemed like Wilkerson started making an impact running the football, but no confusion about it. Jackson State is a pass-first offense, but I think Wilkerson's starting to find his groove. So on third and five, you would go back to the ground and go to the air here. They're going to throw the ball. I mean, when your best player is Shador Sanders, you want to highlight what he brings to the table. And this is where it comes to that offensive line. Best drive of the game so far for Jackson State. They've converted their last two third downs. This is third and five. Coleman, the man in motion. We got early movement. A free play. No, they're going to blow it dead. That'll be offsides against Southern. Offsides, defense, injury neutral zone with contact. It's be a five-yard penalty, third down. Good job by the hard count by Sanders. Now third and one, now you run it. You run the ball downhill. Obviously, it will be four-down territory again, but they need to establish that they can control the line of scrimmage for short yardage situations. They bring in the tight end, D.J. Stevens, over the right side of that line. And we're going to have a late substitution for Southern as Kristen Davis will trot off the field. So we are ready to play ball again. Third and one for Jackson State. Wilkerson in the backfield to the left of Shador Sanders. And they got him off sides again. Free play. Sanders looking for somebody. Enzo, touchdown! Kevin Coleman! What a smart play. No. They're going to say incomplete out of the back of the end zone. But we did have All a side. penalty flag. Defense, number 58. Five-yard penalty. The penalty. See Coleman at the end. It Look at this. That's a nice throw. Uh, going to the ground, did not remain in control of the football. But look at this rope right here, taking a shot, getting the ball to Coleman, who's a highly recruited four-star recruit as well for Jackson State, not able to hold on to it. We talked about Shadur Sanders, his intellect. That just showed how smart he was. Knew he had a free play, took a shot in the end zone. First and goal, Wilkerson on the ground, trying to push the pile. He'll be stopped at the three, a gain of one. A week ago for homecoming, Jackson State struggled in their red zone offense. They were able to move the ball against a very tough, physical Campbell football team, but had to settle for a number of field goals. Be interesting to see what adjustments they made offensively to help with some of their red zone woes. Sanders calling out the protection as he sends Wilkerson in motion. Now he finds his running back out of the backfield. Touchdown, Jackson State. 
a three-yard touchdown pass to Savion Wilkerson as he bangs his way into the end zone for the first score of the ball game. And, and, and this was a quick recognition by Shadur Sandals that helped this play along. He knew right away, free release, running back, Wilkerson in open space. Look at this right now. Get it to him. He knew where he was going with the football once the linebackers dropped and Wilkerson did the rest crossing the goal line. Alejandro Mata will come on to attempt the extra point. And Mata's kick is good. So Jackson State strikes first with a touchdown pass. They take a 7-0 lead. Wilkerson making the dive for the pylon. Coach Prime calmly says, we're going for one. 7-0, Jackson State on top. On the AMP app, you can go live on air and play whatever kind of music you like. So, I'm streaming house, 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 from my house, 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 house. house. We go all out with the lights. Food? We live for food. I love <laughs> Mama's dumplings. <laughs> we go through boxes of Hanukkah candles. Of course, smell like Kalikimaka for Christmas. We need to just be like flinging things into the cart. To not have to be an adult for a few hours. It makes you feel like you're part of something bigger in this huge world. That, to me, is everything. A progressive. If you want to protect the homes and autos of those who bundle, you must become a true master. Water damage, fire damage, wind damage. I'm not getting this metaphor. Protect the home! Ready? No. Are we just cleaning your car? When you can take the ball from my hand, you will be ready. You were always ready. Then why did I do that whole training? That was mostly for me. Confidence booster. When Wingstop made a chicken sandwich, you know they wouldn't make just one. Now you can have 12 new sauce and toss favorites like lemon pepper, mango habanero, and OG hot. So try the new chicken sandwich for only $5.49 at Wingstop, where flavor gets its wings. The fully electric Audi e-tron family is here. With models that fit any lifestyle. And innovative ways to make your e-tron your own. Through elegant design and progressive technology, all the exhilaration, none of the compromise. The Audi e-tron family. Progress that moves you. Here on campus at Jackson State, the great Walter Payton. He Sweetness! Played, played here for the Tigers, the Hall of Famer. It is time now for our AFLAC trivia question. Prior to today, what was the only HBCU campus to host college game day? I know it. I had to think about I, I, this one. And that's also a trick a little bit because it said campus. Yes. So college game day did go to the Bayou Classic. Right. When it was in Houston that year, but they went to the Bayou Classic, I think, 2005. But on campus... We're going to let people... Think about yes. this. Let it marinate for a little bit. We're going to come back and give you the answer. As Jackson State, a low line drop kick, moving this one away into the end zone. Southern will come out for their fourth drive so far for offense on three drives. They only have one first down and seven passing yards. How does B. Sean McCray get it going? Yeah, you know, just find the rhythm. Know what you're going against. You know, his strength is his legs. We have not seen his legs become a factor in this game. So the dual threat aspect that he brings to the table is not there on display. So you maybe get him going with the quick passing game, get the ball out of his hands, or maybe some design quarterback runs. Southern will come out with a three wide receiver set for McCray. They start out on the ground. A short gain over the left side, a gain of two. Aubrey Miller, the star defender for Jackson State, making the stop. Yeah, he's been having. Miller's a guy that plays that inside position well. He's a next-level guy. He'll be playing in the NFL. Call him a noisy football player. 
Because when he comes there, he's coming there to make some noise, bringing those pads, and you hear a lot of clack, clack, clack. Second and eight. McCray looking to throw, taking a shot over the top. That is complete. A nice throw and catch to Cassius Allen. He is six foot four. He went up and got that one. A huge conversion for Southern. Yeah, they talked about him. What do you like about him? Size and he runs well. Huge catch radius. It's one of those 50 50 balls going against DeWan Warren. Pretty good cornerback with some size himself. Jaguars trying to go fast now on offense. Run game goes nowhere. Let's take another look at that conversion. A 29-yard completion. Yeah, just turning on the ball, and it seems like Warren was late to turn his head, didn't locate the football. But Allen playing like a big wide receiver, boxing him out for the catch. When we talked to head coach Eric Dooley for Southern, he said about B. Sean McCray, he's got to be our Magic Johnson. He's got to be the guy that makes everybody else around him better. And McCray, with that strong throw, stepping up here on this drive. Dyson, the man in motion here on second and ten. And a penalty flag before the snap. Ball start. Offense, number 62. Five-yard penalty, second down. That's on the center, Dallas Black. See, when you're in a game like this, you're playing against the number one ranked team in HBCU football, number five ranked team overall in the country, in their place, you got to play your A game. And these little penalties have been nuances, not helping Southern. That's why the offense can't get on track. So that penalty backs them up to the 49-yard line. Quick throw by McCray. Mm. A collision on the That's outside. Football. That was Warren on the stop with Cassius Allen lowering his shoulder, a gain of five. That's football. We talked about Warren being a big cornerback at 6'2", 185 pounds, going against Allen. He knew that Allen was going to try and truck him, as we say, and he was not going for it. Way to play the position to Juan Warren, making up for giving up the pass earlier. So the Jaguars get the penalty yard back. It's now third and ten. Jackson State creeping up on defense. Here comes the blitz. And they get the pressure. McCray goes down. Defensive coordinator Dennis Thurman dialing up the blitz to perfection. Yeah, bringing Cameron Silman Craig, number 70, from his slot position. He's a guy that they like to keep close to the line of scrimmage, disrupting, and you see him there with the fist pump. One of my favorite guys to watch play is... Silman Craig, just one of those active guys, kind of like a honey badger, always around the football, making big plays when called upon. Khalil Arrington also in there on low to get the quarterback. So fourth and 12, the punt team will come on for Southern. Punt will bounce inside the 20 and will settle down inside the 15. So a nice punt on special teams by Southern as the Jackson State offense will come back on the field. Last time they had the ball, they scored their first touchdown of the game. 7-0, Jackson State over Southern. We'll be back after this. Oh, my goodness, the holidays. We go all out with the lights. Food? We live for food. I love <laughs> Mama's dumplings. We go through boxes of Hanukkah candles. Of course, smell like Likimaka for Christmas. We can just get a flinging things into the cart. To not have to be an adult for a few hours. It makes you feel like you're part of something bigger in this huge world. That, to me, is everything. This book has helped me reach so many young homeowners who have become their parents. Hey, what's the lowest you'll go on one of these mugs? Well, remember, there's no haggling in stores. Ah, uh, yeah, right. chapter six, yep. yep. They may have read the book, but they still have a long way to go. I was hoping to get your John Hancock on there. Well, let's just call it a signature. I noticed there weren't any refreshments, so I'm just gonna leave a couple of snackies. Folks, right? the line's a shambles. Let's tuck it in, sir. Come on. Come on. Okay. Oh, right. Progressive can't protect you from becoming your parents, but we can protect your home and auto when you bundle with us. Okay, we don't need a line monitor. 
Shirts make the man, so wear the best. Menswear brand Charles Tirrett makes it easy to dress well. They've got everything from fine tailoring to casual wear, and of course, the shirts they're famous for. With over 600 style and color choices, and backed by a six month guarantee, these non iron cotton shirts work for the boardroom, bar, and beyond. Try three shirts or polos for $99 plus free shipping. Shop at charlestirrett.com with code SPORT for shirts designed in London, made for Texas. Charles Tirrett. Welcome back. All right, let's answer the AFLAC trivia question. Earlier we asked you, prior to today, what was the only HBCU campus to host college game day? The answer is, Jay? Strike, strike, and strike again. The Florida A&M, fam you. Taking on that Hampton squad down there. And of course, you know, Tiffany Green will never let me live that down that they were the very first one. So she was there for that moment. But I don't think that Jackson State will be the last. I think, you know. Well, the, we sure hope not. Yeah, the game day crew came and appreciated the love. And they, you talk to them all, they said it's a different type of energy doing it at an HBCU venue. And I want to say thank you, being an HBCU alumnus, for game day of sharing their spotlight with us. And you were on game day, man. I saw that segment. That was awesome. <laughs> that was cool. Trying to hype, hype up some of the players and some of the great guys we see on the field giving their all. First and 10, Jackson State, the pocket collapses. Incomplete pass by Sanders as he takes a big hit. Speaking of Tiffany Green, she is actually at FAMU. She was the homecoming convoca convocation speaker. Tiffany, congratulations. I'm just keeping your seat warm right now for this big game, but a big honor for Tiffany Green this weekend. Yeah, she said it was on her bucket list. You know, and I guess, how can you fault somebody? You know, there's certain things I want to do, speak at Howard Charter Day of that nature. She had that opportunity. So enjoy it, but we got to get back to work next week. <laughs> <laughs> well, that play was blown up immediately by Cameron Peterson. Got the pressure on Sanders, and that play had no chance. Consecutive plays, we've seen them get to Shadur Sanders. So the defensive line for Southern University starting to pick it up a little bit with their pressure. So that'll bring up third and ten for the Tigers. Gaines, the man in motion across the formation. Sanders, good protection this time. Staying in the pocket, trying to find somebody downfield. We'll tuck it, and now will be brought down. A huge tackle by Jalen Campbell. But really, you got to credit the secondary for that coverage for Southern. Pre-snap read. It's only a three-man rush. So Shadur Sanders knows he has time, but gets a little antsy. And this is just a great job by Campbell realizing that Sanders was going to try and get outside of the pocket to get the big sack. Mixing it up a little bit. Good job by Henry Miller, the defensive coordinator. We just know that Southern likes to play that 4-3 front. They weren't having much success, so they went to a 3-3 stack defense in the box. Come up with a stop. So Jordan Lewis was the man who was down on a knee, and he's going to walk off on his own power. That's good to see. With fourth and long, the punt team will come out for Jackson State. And Sam Johnson's got to be careful. He is backed up in his own end zone. Not a lot of room to punt. Just get it up in the air, and the wind should help get you another 10 yards. Whitfield is the deep man. End over end kick. He calls for a fair catch. Muffs the punt, but he falls back on top of it. Jay, you talked about the wind. It's playing havoc. Yeah. It's going from right to left. And good look there at Eric Dooley, coach of the Jaguars. And coming up, we'll see where the Jaguars rank on Jay's power rankings. Keyword, Jay's. At Progressive, if you want to protect the homes and autos of those who bundle, you must become a true master. Water damage, fire damage, wind damage. I'm not getting this metaphor. Protect the home! Ready? No. Are we just cleaning your car? When you can take the ball from my hand, you will be ready. You were always ready. Then why did I do that whole training? That was mostly for me. Confidence booster. Halloween fun made easy. That's totally Target.
Florida a and Willie Simmons still doing a good job down there. The Rattlers are playing the trail position of Jackson State, trying to hopefully get to the FCS playoffs if Jackson State doesn't slip. And Southern. Southern, you saw their resume work. It's a good football team going toe-to-toe with the number one team in the country. And on the bubble, Bubba McDowell, Prairie View A&M's got the Panthers playing good football, not quite ready to crack the top five yet. I've been impressed with Eric Dooley and the Southern Jaguars team. They slipped up earlier this season. They come in 5-2, and two, but they are playing their best football of the season right now. Got to find something to get it going offensively. Though. McCray taking a shot downfield. That pass is incomplete. Was looking for August Pete. Take a look at their season recap. They've won their last four, so clearly Eric Dooley has figured something out and has turned things around. Yeah, they got shut out by Texas Southern, which was a big surprise, but I think people are realizing now Texas Southern isn't the old Texas Southern. That's a squad where Coach McKinney's got the Tigers playing good football. They beat Alcorn a week ago, so kind of played well ever since that loss, racking off four straight victories. Penalty flag at the end of that play downfield. Let's see what this call is. Illegal substitution against the defense, number 21. This five-yard penalty will be added to the end of the run. It'll be a first down. So they gained seven yards on that run by Kendrick Rhymes. They're going to add penalty yards after, so that's now a first down for Southern. So the Jaguars now in Jackson State territory at the 44. Keeper. And McCray gets dropped. That's a loss of one. Wow, that was a shoestring tackle because there was a nice crease there where he could have picked up major yardage. Take a look at this crease right here. If, if this tackle's not made by Baron Hobson on the ground already, McCray could hit him for a big play. Travis Hunter is in on defense for Jackson State. This is a run, and that play is blown up in the backfield. Rhymes had no chance as Devonta Davis met him. A loss of three. Yeah, the offensive line for Southern is supposed to be there. A good one. You see they're trying to move the whole line to the left, but good job finding a crease, making the takedown by Devonta Davis. Reagan also. Oh, Reagan. Yep. Double team in the backfield. Brings up third and 14 for Southern. On third down today, 0 for 4. This is an offense that averages 39 points a game. Give credit to this JSU defense. They have really brought it to them. Under five minutes to play here in this first half. McCray flushed out of the pocket to his right, throwing on the run. And that is complete. It is going to be short. They were on the tip drill. Kendrick Grimes came up with the catch. And they'll bring up fourth down. And on the scramble drill, nice concentration. See the ball and make the catch. Whether or not he caught it really doesn't matter. It looked like it touched the ground, but they're going to end up punting this away. But you have to be careful when you throw the ball in the vicinity of number 12. See Travis Hunter on the breakup. Bad things happen when you try and challenge the freshman. So Southern will punt into the wind. We got wind gusts about 15 to 30 miles per hour today. That Look ball that just wind. gets hung <laughs> up there. It'll check up and take a Jackson State bounce. A 13-yard punt. So the Tigers will come back out on offense up 7 to nothing. Roger, we've located it. The Call of Duty combo. Little Caesar slices and sticks and a 20-ounce Mountain Dew. Mmm-mm. Mission deliciously accomplished. Unlock dual double XP with a Call of Duty combo or Mountain Dew at Little Caesars. Pizza, pizza. Halloween fun made easy. That's totally Target. When it comes to doing, getting what you need starts with our app. Need it today? Pick it up curbside. Need it to you? We deliver. Your trunk? Our trucks. However you get it, we've got you. It's made for doing. Download the Home Depot app. 
exit. Whoa. Jake from State Farm, I really need to know. Uh, go spicy or go home, right? What? No. What if I'm not sure I have the right coverage for my car? Oh, your agent can help me make sure it's just what you need. What if I accidentally hit a food truck and it gets covered in empanadas? You can file a claim on the app. At State Farm, we're there for your what ifs. Thanks. Oh. Mm. That is too spicy. That's for you. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call or click to get a quote today. Hey, Buck. I know you don't like voicemails, but I hope you're doing great. I wish I was with you. You are so brave. Just keep getting out there. And I hope you know how lucky I am to be your dad. Toyota. Let's go places. Welcome back to the Boombox Classic. When we talk about HBCU football, you got to talk about all the NFL Hall of Famers from Southern, from Jackson State. There is a long history here. Yeah, you see the list there in the Jackson State Four. I think they're missing one. I think Jimmy Smith should be in the Pro Football Hall of Fame who played for Jackson State. But you got a chance to meet Robert Brazil earlier today, the Hall of Famer. I introduced you to him. So now test time. What was Robert Brazil's nickname? Oh. I told you. Was it, was it the boom? Close. Oh, what was it? youngster. Dr. Doom. Dr. Doom. Okay. Robert Brazil, Dr. Doom, Dr. Doom was in the building. A nice throw by Shador Sanders. That is complete to Dallas Daniels, making the over-the-shoulder catch, a gain of 23. Good catch, but look at the ball placement. Look, look where. That's the only guy that can catch that pass. It was Dallas Daniels, back shoulder throw. That's throwing in rhythm. You see the pace of this offense for Jackson State trying to pick it up here. They go to the ground with Wilkerson, and he just keeps pushing those legs. He got hit about four yards and got a couple more. Wilson, yeah. Wilkerson, a gain of seven. Yeah. And if I'm Jackson State, I'm thinking a little up-tempo right now. We've got less than three minutes to go before the half. We want to close out this half with some points, try and make this a two-score lead. Got a team on the ropes a little bit and see what you come up with offensively. Wilkerson goes out wide to the right. Sanders, pressure. Wow. He's going to step up. He's got plenty of daylight in front of him. It's going to be a race to the end zone. Sanders at the pylon. Touchdown, Jackson State. Shador Sanders, a 42-yard touchdown run. We talked about his IQ, and this year he's been more mobile. He scores this touchdown because he knows it's man-to-man -man coverage. In man-to-man -man coverage, you don't equate for the quarterback in the running game. So while the defense had their back turned to Shador Sanders, he had his eyes on the prize in the end zone. Alejandro Mata is on to attempt the extra point. His kick is up and good. The electrifying play of Shador Sanders puts Jackson State up 14 to nothing on that drive. Three plays, 71 yards, just a minute off the clock. So a couple things, you know, you learn to realize. You see everybody running with somebody, their backs turn. And it's a quarterback, you know, I've got man coverage. I'm a threat in the running game. But Sanders showing you he's a little bit more of an athlete than people give him credit for. Taken off in a hurry, quick decision, outruns linebackers. And some of the secondary, that is how you play the position. How about Sanders selling out at the goal line to stretch for that pylon? Quarterback stepping up big for Jackson State. Got a 14 0 lead. And Jay, I'm loving this atmosphere. The crowd is in it right now. It's the largest FCS stadium in the country in terms of attendance. They lead FCS football in attendance every year. And you add the prime effect with it as well. And Shadur Sanders becoming the superstar that he is. And this is becoming the toughest road trip in all of college HBCU college football. Veterans Memorial Stadium is rocking. It doesn't matter. It's in the rain. It's windy. 
It doesn't matter. And you make sure to stay with us because coming up at halftime here on ESPN3, we will bring you the performances of both universities' marching bands. For Southern, it's the Human Jukebox. They'll be going up first, and then Jackson State will follow the sonic boom of the South. I can't wait. You know, I always do my gimme five of the top band nicknames, and they come in one or two. I mean, I love that name, the sonic boom of the South. And then how about the Human Jukebox? Mm. You know, Dr. Isaac Gregg, legendary conductor of that band there, always one of the top-ranked bands as well. But some of the colorful names you get when you talk about the HBCU halftime shows. McCray's pass on first down is incomplete. The, the wind is really starting to pick up here, Jay, and the wind is going directly into the face of Southern right now. Yeah, and we thought if the weather and the elements became a factor in the game, advantage Southern because they like to run the ball a little bit more than Jackson State. But now they find themselves down by 14, relying on the pass, and that's just not who they are. They just need to hurry up and get to the locker room. If they can get to the locker room just down by 14, you take it at this point right now because offensively they've done nothing. So far on third downs today, 0 for 5. That'll bring up third and 10 for Eric Dooley's offense. They need a completion so that clock can run. A couple things here. If it's an incomplete pass and Jackson State's going to get the ball back, but if they're short, I wouldn't be surprised if Jackson State called a timeout to get the ball back with some time on. McCray, strong throw on the money. Where do they spot him? Just a yard short. A completion of nine. Now they're going to go for it in this situation here. Offense is still on the field. Uh, See, I would call a timeout either way, but this is a smart move. You keep the offense on the field. I would let the clock wind down a little bit more. This will be a 30-second timeout. Ooh. Well. So timeout on the field, fourth and one, under two minutes to play. Let's revisit the standings in the SWAC and show you why this game is so big. And you look on the left on the east, Jackson State undefeated, 7-0 on the season, 4-0 in conference play. But Southern, they have picked it up. They are number one in the west at 3-1. But that, that's wide open. I mean, four teams can win. Alcorn, Texas Southern, Prairie View, and Southern can win the west. But I'm going to tell you something to take a look at. Number three in the SWAC east is Alabama A&M. One loss. Now, Florida A&M already lost to Jackson State head-to-head, -head, so they'll get that tiebreaker at Jackson State. But if A&M can somehow win the Magic City Classic today and beat Jackson State two weeks from now in Mobile, oh, my God, then it becomes tiebreak scenarios. It'll be interesting. Well, how about this? On wow. fourth and one, the Jaguars' offense stays on the field after the timeout. They need a yard. They go to the ground, they get it, and more. Spinning, turning down is Kendrick Rhymes. No, excuse me, that's Carl Ligon, a gain of four. What a call on fourth wow. down. Gutsy, but what a great individual effort where it looked like there was penetration, but good vision and balance by Ligon to pick up that yardage. But whoo, not the way he draw it up, but Eric Dooley pressing the envelope a little bit. They go back to Ligon. He is pounded down by Baron Hobson. That is a tough gain of three. And this is what I think they should be doing, running the football a little bit, taking the clock down. If you cross the midfield, then you step on the gas pedal again to try and steal some points. Four-man rush. This is a keeper for McCray. He'll be stopped short of the 45, marked down at the 44. That'll bring up third down. Under a minute to play here in this first half of this Boombox Classic. Back to the ground. Ball is out. Fumble. Who's got it? It looks like Jackson State ball. Let's see what happens when they pull the bodies off the pile. The ruling on the field is a fumble. Recovered by the defense. <laughs> Remember what I told you, Aubrey Miller, how I described him? He's a noisy football player. He likes to disrupt, so he's just not going to take you down. He's going for the punch along with the hit. Ball on the ground. Sylvan Craig there to recover the fumble. That's how you play the linebacker position. Ligon thought he had daylight. 
But Aubrey Miller punches it out from behind, and it's time to surface swag. The, the whole state, and this may be the largest swag party I've seen some time. I mean, they got to cut the music because we're playing again, but I hope they let it ride. <laughs> How aggressive will Jackson State be? 46 seconds to play in this first half. Sanders with the rain coming down will take off with his legs and will find a way to get out of bounds. Marked out across the 45. But looks like a gain of about six. And that's the luxury of having a quarterback like Shadur Sanders who knows the game so well. Less than a minute, you can put the ball in his hands. Just go out there and make something he knows. He can win to take his chances, win to pick his spots. Second and four. Sanders with protection finds a man into okay. Southern Territory. The offense is now starting to hum. Time out a now. gain of 16 as Jackson State will call a timeout. This will be a 30 second That's a good job. Once you cross midfield, you get the big play, you call the timeout right away. And remember, I said earlier, it's like if you can go into the locker room down by 14, you take it. You gave Shadur Sanders the ball back with time on the clock. So 31.4 to play in this first half. Jackson stayed up by 14. They have two timeouts to play. If you're in this offensive huddle, what are you telling Shadur Sanders? Run the offense. Attack. If you get a one-on-one -on -one matchup on the outside, use your wide receivers. You've got the whole playbook at your disposal. If you walk away with three points, you won, but... Knowing this offense the way they are, the aggressive play calling with Marks and Loney, they're going to take some shots deep down the field to test the secondary. The ball spotted at the Southern 38. First and 10 for Jackson State. Sanders stepping up as a man wide open, crossing over the middle, spinning down his Dallas ball is out. Daniels lost it at the end of that run, getting on top of it is Savion Wilkerson. After all is said and done, it's a gain of 26. You see this, he gets, gets turned around. Never a good no idea to turn your back to the defense. Hard hit on the ball by Jordan Carter. Jackson State fortunate that Wilkerson was hustling down the field from his running back position to recover the ball. So Jackson State will call a timeout. That is their second. They have one more remaining with 20.9 seconds to play. Now, Dallas Daniels was slow to get up after that play. Let's also take a look at the uh, end. See, that's that antagonistic stuff that Coach Prime said they were going to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, and a, little, and a little tug there, but good job by Sanders putting his hands up, not falling for the bait from Trey Lang. That's pretty good coaching. I mean, if I'm Coach Prime now, I'm observing Coach Prime as a coach. Getting your team ready for what's coming. He said they were going to try and bait us. He knew that. That's good scouting. So first and 10, 20.9 seconds to play in this first half. In the red zone, Jackson State offense, Coleman in motion. Sanders. We'll reverse course over to the left side, and we'll throw that one away. 13.9 to play in this first half. You know, when I watch Shadur Sanders get the snap and shotgun, and, and I say this loosely, but I haven't seen this type of excitement where an edge of your seat type quarterback, like what's he going to do next, since two guys in this conference. One was a guy named Bruce Eugene from Grambling State, finalist for the Peyton Award, runner-up twice. And Eric McNair. Mm. When Steve McNair played, the whole stadium would love to watch the offense. It was on the edge of their seat to see what he would come up with next. I'm starting to see some of that from Shadur Sanders. Second and ten. Sanders out of the shotgun. Pressured. And that one is incomplete. Will bring up third down. You know what's impressed me about Shadur Sanders? Even when he's scrambling, he always looks like he's so in control. Yeah. Up and, you know, that's that football IQ that you see and you know, good to see him show off the athleticism when you, you, you find him one way he can hurt you another way so 
So nine seconds to play in this first half. It'll be third and ten. Jackson State needs to get to the two for a first down, and they still have a timeout remaining. Downs don't really matter here. It's against the clock. Sanders, he'll step up himself. He's got daylight. Touchdown! A 12-yard rushing touchdown for Shador Sanders, his second rushing touchdown of the day. What's he going to do next? I mean, that's like Aaron McNair. That's, he was always going to do something special. And we're watching something special with Shadour Sanders. Recognition. You turn your back on him, you run with the crossing route, quick decision, get into the end zone. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Is that the Billy White Shoes Johnson dance there? Up 20 to nothing. Jackson State had the timeout. offense on the field. It looks Jackson like they were going to try to go for two. They're the actually going to use their the final head. timeout here. It's to be 30-second timeout. Now, there's a lot of buzz here in Jackson about Shador Sanders being in the Heisman conversation. Jay, what do you think about his chances? I mean, if you look at those numbers, you know, I always go back to when Steve McNair came in fourth or fifth for the Heisman. The guys that beat him, that were ahead of him, look at their careers and look at Eric McNair's career. So what's to say an FCS guy can't rock the boat and be the best player in the country like McNair was? But you look at that list there, great quarterbacks there. Hendon Hooker, Tennessee, his dad, little known fact, his dad was a quarterback by the name of Allen Hooker that played at North Carolina A&T. And his go-to receiver at Tennessee is Cedric Tillman. Cedric Tillman played wide receiver at Alcorn right up the road. So Keep it HBCU family. Caleb Williams, fantastic. Love what he does there. But the numbers, he's got to be in the conversation if he's going to be your finalist. Your thoughts? I I'm with you. I'm I think Shador Sanders for Heisman. I don't get a vote, but if I did, <laughs> you know who I'd be voting for. Don't know why you go for two in this situation here. Up by 20, going for two. Sanders throwing. Got him. Kevin Coleman on the reception for the two-point conversion. Jackson State, a 22-point lead. Now, though they got it, the reason why I don't think you go for it in that situation, if you don't get it, then it becomes three touchdowns and you're losing. Or you're at 20, two touchdowns, two field goals, they could tie the game up. So now, they were rewarded with it, though. Here's the question. Is that more of a statement heading into the locker room going for two? If you follow Jackson State, you know it is. <laughs> <laughs> because you definitely know it is. And Coach Prime's feeling it right now. The defense is dominating. The offense is picking it up. We're looking at the number five ranked FCS team in the country on full display. I mean, look at this atmosphere. This is a party. The Boombox Classic has not disappointed. Thank you, ESPN, for sending me to Jackson, Mississippi. I am loving this. Three point six seconds to play here in this first half as the Tigers will kick things away. Squid kick. Getting out of bounds. We do have a second to play. <laughs> If you're but, Southern, you take a knee or a shot? You sit down, take a knee, learn from it. But remember when they started that drive, it wouldn't have been a bad thing. Don't you think Eric Dooley wishes he was going to the locker room down 14 nothing? Could have ran out the clock a little bit and did it. But Jackson State got hot, particularly the last two drives of this half, scoring 15 points in under two minutes. Wow, things changed in a hurry. 1.3 to play in this first half, and Southern will take a knee. Now, if you're Southern, the positive thing to go into the half, you will get the ball starting the second half. But that'll wrap things up for the first half here in Jackson, Mississippi. Shador Sanders putting on a highlight show. A huge scramble diving for the pylon. Another run, his second rushing touchdown of the day, and Jackson State with a 22 to nothing lead. Red Riding Hood loved visiting Grandma's house. Unfortunately, others did too. But after saving big with early holiday deals at Amazon, 
but she was ready for those uninvited guests. <laughs> Who's a good boy? Apparently the big bad wolf. Round-trip tickets to New York, two-night, three-day stay at a Hyatt hotel, and two Broadway tickets. American is the official airline of JSU Athletics and proud to support great ATCU like Jackson State University. Put in the name, so will be Vice President and Director, Mr. Ashley Robinson. All right, Mr. Robinson, let's get a winner.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Hibakum Box pays tribute to all cancer survivors. We urge you to never give up and continue the fight. Peace. The SU man will now do a high step drill to the two.
Now stand to your feet for our version of Vanilla Thrice. Better hold it. Is that the tiger? Walk on. They about to drop y'all. How Jackson State got dropped yesterday at that battle. Hey now, moving at 360 steps per minute. What a minute it is why when you say Southern University marching band, it means showtime. In advance, on that chest to let you know that they're the best. The Southern University marching band is simply America's finest. So sit back, relax. We are about to express the most exciting time of your life. Coach, he is not swag, no. Now we're gonna pay homage to the real king, y'all. The kings of the swag. Undisputed heavyweight champs. Now put it on a shirt and a spatula. Yeah, I said it. Southern University Marching Band is under the direction of the maestro, Mr. Kendrick Taylor. Assistant directors are Cedric Todd, Kenny Collins, Safra Ruth, Darren Vidal, and Lorenzo Hart. That's your doll sponsors are Miss Tracy Green and Mr. Tara Frank, and me. I'm your MC, Darren B. Peace, and we're out of here. Listen, I need y'all to download the AMP app so you can call it in my show. Or you call it in someone else's show. Or you can start a show, and, and people can call into your show. But either way it goes, it's all on the app app, so come on. The all-new, all-electric EQS SUV from Mercedes-Benz. Halloween fun made easy. That's totally Target. Jake, from State Farm? Yeah. I gotta know. I do believe in life after love, yeah. Right, no. What if something happens to Guinevere? Guinevere. Oh, uh, you can file a claim right on the app. Right, but what if I'm old school and I want to talk to a real person? Just call your agent. At State Farm, we're there for your what ifs. Hmm. Yeah. Guinevere, we're okay! Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call or click to get a quote today.
known as Silk Sonic. If you're happy to be in love or just looking for love, we invite you to join the Love Train. Written and directed by the director of bands, Dr. Roderick Little. Oh, yeah. 
Dancing J sets. Dancing to Pay Me by McGill. from Coach Prime. Who is swag if I ain't swag? Who is swag if I ain't swag? Who is swag if I ain't swag? JSU is swag. We don't want no blue and gold in our stadium. Stop on a boom. Assistant Band Director, Mr. Calvin Berry is a marching per percussion instructor. Miss Chloe Ashley Crowley is the director of the Prancing. Hi, Dr. Rick. It's Julie. Just reading you a voicemail. My number is 618-437-7425. Okay. It's for Can anyone tell me what Julie did wrong there? You got to repeat the number. I mean, no one's ever going to get it the first time. Nope. Didn't leave her last name. No, the, the phone tells you who called. She didn't mention a good time to call her back. How am I supposed to know when to call her back? Uh, no, she just sh shouldn't have left a voicemail. Nine out of ten times a text will do. Progressive okay. can't save you from becoming your parents, but we can save you money when you bundle home an auto with us. Welcome back to ESPN College Football presented by McDonald's. We are here for the Boombox Classic at the half in Jackson, Mississippi. It's been all Jackson State. 22 to nothing. They lead the Southern Jaguars as we get steady for the start of the third quarter. What's up, everybody? Welcome back inside the broadcast booth alongside my quarterback. He's Jay Walker. I'm John Shriven. All right, I know we got a football game to talk about, 
I'm still <laughs> rocking from the bands at halftime. That was something. Oh, man, the Boombox Classic for a reason. Two of the best bands in all of HBCU culture out there, and they delivered. I mean, Southern University, quality like always, but you got to go with that Silk Sonic from Jackson State. <laughs> that brought the house down. That was fun. All right, let's get into some football. Shador Sanders had himself a first half. Let's get into some of the highlights. Two rushing touchdowns, one throwing touchdown. You know, and having the ability to do the right thing with the football, not even close to throwing an interception, but creating stuff. That's what we're seeing his game evolve to, making quick decisions with the football. But he realized that they were taking away the pass, not paying attention to the running game, called his own number. And I think this is the one that really changed the momentum in favor of Jackson State, that long 42-yard touchdown run. He was 12 for 20, 119 yards. This was his second touchdown run on five carries, 54 yards, two touchdown runs. You take a look at his numbers, three total TDs in that first half. And it was a slow start for him. But those are good numbers. I mean, those are good numbers. So if he keeps it going at that pace, that's why Shador Sanders is that guy that makes you get on the edge of your seat. What can he do next? The ability to create throwing the ball or running the ball. Shador Sanders showing you why America thinks he's the next great one. On the other side, for the Southern Jaguars, they did not get on the scoreboard in that first half. A lot of adjustments need to be made because that offense didn't really get going in the first half, Jay. Yeah, and they'll make some adjustments. I mean, one thing that Eric Dooley's kind of known for throughout his coaching career has been the ability to create offense. So they got off to a slow start. They need to solve this riddle, but they're going against the number one defense in all of FCS. In the first half, the Southern, their offense, a total of 135 yards, but 81 of those yards came on two plays. They will get the ball first here to start this third quarter, down 22 to nothing against Jackson State. The opening kick for the second half goes into the end zone. And coming out for the first drive in the second half will be quarterback B. Sean McCray. McCray needs to get it going. You know, and at this point you're like, I don't care how you do it, you just need to do it. You need to keep the offense on the field, make some throws, and become a factor. This offense is predicated on McCray being successful from the quarterback position. But he was held pretty much ineffective that first half. All right, who won that halftime? Was it the human jukebox or I'm Sonic not, Boom no, in the South? You were not baiting me into that. <laughs> and just like I wouldn't bait you into it. It was a very entertaining was, halftime. One was... of the best halftime shows I've seen in a while by both bands. McCray, quarterback keeper for the first possession, uh, first play here in this third quarter. A gain of eight. McCray, McCray, McCray. So the defense, number one coming into today in the FCS, averaging just over 10 points per game they allow in today. Man, something impressive. And their defensive coordinator still won't be happy about that, even though they're pitching a shutout, because there were times where Southern got the big run, you know, when they got the ball back. Let's not forget that you know, Southern missed two field goal attempts, so that's why they're shut out. But this defense has done a really good job, and it's a championship caliber defense. First and 10 from the 35. McCray, he will throw a jump ball, trying to come back. Yeah, that's flat. Incomplete, that's and now flag. the late flags do come in. McCray got hit, but good job coming back to the football, making the attempt to come back to the football, forcing the officials to call the pass interference or the hold. Uh, not a lot of contact when you look at it. Hit on a quarterback there, but. That was Reagan applying the pressure with the hit on B. Sean McCray. That was two fouls on the play. Both against the defense, pass interference, defense number five. That penalty will be declined. Roughing the passer. Defense number 92. This 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. So they decline the pass interference. We'll take the roughing the passer against Reagan. Here's a look at it. Yeah, I mean, blow to the head as a quarterback, protected position. Was it necessary for him to do that? No, they're going to call that in today's college football world all day. 
the ball spotted at the 50. Southern trying to make a statement, their first drive here in this third quarter. To the ground they go with Rhymes. Rushes for a gain of three. And, and Southern needs to take advantage of the penalties. Excuse me, that's Ligon. Take advantage of the penalties right now. You cross midfield, so you've got life. You're coming out of the locker room. You have to have hope. So you have to attack right now. Desperately, they need to put points on the board. Run McCray. Get him going. Second and seven. Handoff is to Ligon again. He is pushed back. Looked like that was a gain of four. So bring up third and short. And, you know, I, I want to see this again. It looked like there was a hole there, but tell me this Ligon run to the wrong hole. You know, if you take a little cut, go to the left side, that's pretty good swarm defense, but he should have stayed in there and left a little bit more. Ride the back side of those left side of the offensive line to get more yardage. Ran right into the waiting arms of Jeremiah Brown. It'll bring up third and short. So far today, Southern 0 for 7 on third down conversions. And yes, it's two down territory. <laughs> if they can avoid the negative play here, you've got to tell yourself, we've got a sense of urgency down by 22 on the road. Back to the ground. That was Brown again on the tackle right at the sticks. Favorable They're going to give him the first down, yeah. <laughs> Favorable spot when the official came in and marked him right on the 40-yard line where he needed to go. So it looks like this Southern offense is trying to find an identity here in this third quarter on the ground with Carl Ligon. First and 10 from the Jackson State 40 to the air. Throwing downfield is McRae spun around incomplete. That was defended by Shane Hooks. Excuse me, Wiggins was there on the coverage. That's kind of been there. Their pass attack, you know, throw it up for grabs a little bit, but you have to give them an opportunity. When you've got tall, wide receivers, the rule is you don't want to overthrow them. You underthrow them so they can adjust and get the football. But look at Jack State. This is Jack State defense. We're better players than you. We're going to go man-to-man -man coverage, one safety high, allow our pressure to get to the quarterback. Second and ten. McCray throwing over the middle, completes it to Allen. A gain of five brings up third and five. And when they play this straight man, because they have a luxury of great cornerbacks, and if your head coach is going to be Deion Sanders, you know the DB play is going to be superb. They put these corners on an island. Travis Hunter's playing man-to-man -man coverage on the bottom of your screen, locking down one of the wide receivers. You know, a name we haven't really called much is August Pete today. He's the guy who they want to get over the top, but he hasn't really had much space. He's at the bottom of your screen. He's over there where Travis Hunter is. Third and five, ball tipped at the line of scrimmage, incomplete. Bad up down ball. Good job on picking up the blitz and linebacker, but the ball is deflected. Fourth and five in this part of the field, I think you go for it. So, Jay, the offense does stay on the field. Fourth and five. Three wide, excuse me, four wide receivers. They're going to blitz them. They're going to bring pressure to try and make them get rid of this football early. Let's see how Southern handles picking up the blitz. Here comes the heat. McCray gets rid of it through the hands of August Pete. He had a first down but couldn't haul it in. They brought the free safety and the strong safety up the middle. Forcing them to get rid of the football quick, but Pete not able to hold on to it. Travis Hunter was there in coverage. I'll remember that chapter of my life forever. We laughed. We cried. We protected that progressive home and auto bundle day and night. We were all of us dazzling. Like knights sworn to protect our kingdom. We knew it wouldn't last forever, but that's what made it special. I know we'll be back tomorrow, right? Yeah, but it'll never be today again.
Made easy. That's totally Target. 38 years ago, his back was broken, but his spirit was not. Greg Abbott never gave up. It's that same determination. Welcome back to Jackson, Mississippi. So much history involved in this legendary city. Built in 1937, this old Greyhound bus station was a frequent stop in the South for Freedom Riders. And over the course of four months back in 1961, hundreds of civil rights activists disembarked on Jackson at this terminal alone. It was restored in 1989 by Robert Packer Adams. And Jay, that, that's just one of the treats of us getting to travel around the country, getting to visit so many historical cities. I've enjoyed my time here. Absolutely. I mean, being a West Coast guy, you know, this is stuff I just read about. Then you get to see it up close and personal, and, and you feel it a little bit. Pass is complete to Cameron Buckley. That'll move the chains of first down for Jackson State. Really, the entire city, with the influx of people, with college game day, you really got to hand it to Jackson, how they've handled everything this weekend. Everything went off incredibly. This is an electric place. Yeah. First class, and good job, and give credit to the university president, to the athletic director, the department, team effort, and they pulled it off. And give credit to the football team. So far, they're taking care of business on the field, blocking out all the distractions. When I watched the local news, news last night, every story was about this game. <laughs> Fans coming out for game day, supporting the traffic, everything. The economic impact as Wilkerson bangs forward for another first down. They're saying they're, they're expected to make over $4 million to the city just because of all the fans and the people coming in for this one game. Yeah, I mean, when you've got a stadium that can hold, you know, 60,000 folks in it, 62,000, and you know, President Thomas Hudson was there on the set as well, game day, and it's that vision. You know, the athletic director, Ashley Robinson, knew what it could be. Ball is tipped incomplete when looking for Travis Hunter. And, and you know what's interesting? You and I, we were talking, you got a chance to talk to Coach Prime, and people ask, why is it working so well? I've learned from being around him, he doesn't think that, you know, anything is possible. He thinks that everything is possible. He wants it all, everything. And it's contagious, and the fan base is starting to believe, and that's their phrase around here. You know, Jackson State, you know, I believe. On second down, quick throw to the outside. That was bobbled and dropped by D.J. Stevens. You know, something that stood out in our conversation with Coach Prime yesterday, his willingness to give to others and wanting to help everyone, not just here at Jackson State, but, but other HBCUs and shine light on HBCU programs. I asked him where that comes from. He said, it comes from my mom, Connie Knight. He said, she raised seven foster kids. She was always assisting others. I saw that growing up, and that's where I get it. Makes sense. Third and ten for the Tigers. Sanders, good protection. Has some room to run, will step up, can't avoid the shoestring tackle. That'll bring fourth down, gain of five. Yeah, and this is one here, holding on to the ball a little bit. Number one job as a quarterback is throw the football. Look at the running back, get it to him. Wilkerson is given a scholarship to run the ball. Could have given him a five-yard check down. He probably had a better chance at turning and making somebody miss. Now, it would be a long 48 field goal attempt, so they're going to keep the offense on the field for fourth and five. Blitz coming. Does Sanders have the courage to take the deep route when that's when the defense is giving you in a fourth and five situation? First two drives of the game, Jackson State went on fourth down, did not convert. Sanders, here comes the pressure. Oh! They had Dallas Daniels for the completion and more, but he couldn't reel it in. On the crossing route, his number one target on the season. Second time we've seen Ian Daniels not able to convert on something. Still, 22-point lead. We get to celebrate being together. To 
tell a joke, share stories. What everybody has done over the past year. The togetherness of that moment. Just really celebrating each other. A progressive, if you want to protect the homes and autos of those who bundle, you must become a true master. Water damage, fire damage, wind damage. I'm not getting this metaphor. Protect the home! Ready? No. Are we just cleaning your car? When you can take the ball from my hand, you'll be ready. You were always ready. Then why'd I do that whole training? That was mostly for me. Confidence booster. You use a map in your car. Why not use a map with your cart? Store mode in the Home Depot app makes doing easy. love about the Chick-fil-A Grilled Spicy Deluxe is the different flavors that are hitting your mouth at every millisecond. You get the explosion and the zestiness of the chicken, then that spice just kicks in. And if you had that cilantro lime, perfection. Hi, this is Becky. And a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A Grilled Spicy Deluxe is that marinade, they make sure that it is on the entire piece of chicken and not just on top. The pepper, whatever else is secret in their marinade, it's amazing. I wanted to stay true to like where barbecue came from. This is classic Texas barbecue. We're not going to change. I'm trying to make great food that I love. I try to make sure that there are no compromises. In it. Play by Wiggins. Do you want to see Southern take more shots here in the second half? No, but that's like it seems like that's their passing game. It's been throw the vertical, and verticals are low percentage passes. I want to see him complete some curl routes, complete some guys running across the formation. You know, as a defensive coordinator, if I show you man to man coverage and you throw the deep ball, the fade route, I'm winning. Those are low percentage passes. So, what you want to do when you see this man to man look. Let's get a crossing route. Hit a slant route. Give me a 15-yard in cut. Dig routes, things of that nature. But we're just seeing them settle for throwing up jump balls. So after Rhymes picks up four, brings up third and six for Southern. McCray so far on the afternoon, six for 14, 61 yards in the air. McCray's going to look to throw a quick pass and wasn't on the same page with his running back, Kendrick Grimes, never turned his head for the ball. Because he was trying to get out there in a hurry. And I think you hold on this ball a little bit. Hold, you know, yes, you got the blitzing coming, but as a quarterback, you take two steps to the left, buy some time, and then hit the running back out of the backfield with the matchup that they wanted. It's just one of those days where they've never been able to get any offensive rhythm. So on the miscommunication, Southern will be forced to punt this away. Willie Gaines waits for it, catches at the 35, has a hole over the left side, uses the speed, tiptoes the sideline inside the 40 into Southern territory. Well, we talked about Jackson State dominating. Well, let me ask you this. Let me tell you who 
and why I think Dion's the hottest coach in America right now. Wherever we come from, we all have one thing in common. We all want the incredible new iPhone 14 Pro. Now at T-Mobile. T-Mobile gives you Apple TV Plus included. So watch your favorite Apple Originals on iPhone's most advanced display ever. Get iPhone 14 Pro on us with Apple TV Plus included. Now at T-Mobile. This book has helped me reach so many young homeowners who have become their parents. Hey, what's the lowest you'll go on one of these mugs? Well, remember, there's no haggling in stores. Ah, oh, yeah, mm -hmm. chapter six, yep. yep. They may have read the book, but they still have a long way to go. So hoping to get your John Hancock on there. Well, let's just call it a signature. I noticed there weren't any refreshments, so I'm just gonna leave a couple of snackies. Folks, the line's a shambles. Let's tuck it in, sir. Come on. Come on. Okay. Oh, right. Progressive Three can't steps. protect you from becoming your parents, but we can protect your home and auto when you bundle with okay. us. Okay, we don't need a line monitor. You use a map in your car. Why not use a map with your cart? Store mode in the Home Depot app makes doing easy, showing you where to find what you need. Let's call it turn-by-turn -turn shopping. It's made for doing. Download the Home Depot app. Coach Prime and Jackson State in control up 22 to nothing. It is time for the highly anticipated Jays Gimme 5. All right, how about this? Why is Deion Sanders the hottest coach in America? Let's figure out how it worked. The partnership he did with Jackson State, getting him to buy in from the top down, from the president to the athletic director to the basketball coach to the soccer coach, they all believe. For his star power. He's got the biggest megaphone out there right now. You see more cameras on him than you see other coaches in the country. He uses it wisely. Like we mentioned just now, he believes everything is possible. Not anything, everything he thinks big. Two, he's got a quarterback, Shador Sanders. Give me a coach with a great quarterback, and normally you're going to be the man. But I think, let's not forget, they're 7-0. and They're undefeated. That's why he's so hot, because as a coach, I'm not judging you by anything else than wins and losses in most cases. So with that being said, we talked about the recruiting gear. You know, you got a coach that's, that's geared up. They got all the swag. They've got the deals. They've got the shiny stuff there. So that's why Deion Sanders has worked, why he's the hottest coach in America right now. I agree. Sweet. I agree. Well, think about the week that it's been for Jackson State. 60 minutes. Yep. <laughs> Good morning, America. ESPN's college game day. In one week. Yes. There are some schools who have not had that in the history of their entire program. That is all because of Deion Sanders. Absolutely. Now they got Josh Griffin in town as well, too. Oh, so, man. you know, they're rolling. Sanders will just throw that one into the ground. And after oh, we do have a penalty flag late at the end of that play. What impressed me about talking to some of his players, including Savion Wilkerson, is that Coach Prime's attitude is infectious. All the players believe that they can do anything. And it's not just football. That carries over to everything else in their life. They feel like they can accomplish anything because he's so field, positive. Number 73. Five yard it becomes contagious. It becomes contagious. And, you know, we had a chance to ask him, how do you block out the noise when the stories you, you could be leaving to go to a Power 5 and Power 5 this and somebody's going to come and scoop you up? And I think because of who he is, it's not distracting the team. You know, it's a us against the HBCU world, us against the FCS world mentality, and that's a tightly knit locker room, and they were able to block out the noise, and I give them credit for that. Well, let's also not forget, they have a camera crew with them every, <laughs> every day. single day. <laughs> every day. Sanders dropping back, will decide to step up. He is hit hard, dropped by Jordan Monroe, a gain of one. I was watching game day earlier, and there was a Southern fan with a sign. I think he said something to the effect of, Dion to Auburn. <laughs> yeah, they're trying to push him to go that way there. And, uh, he's hot. I mean, he's hot. You know, there's always a question, would he be able to coach on this level? And the impact has been tremendous. And he surrounded himself with some good coaches as well. Third and 15. Jackson State needs to get to the 30. Sanders crossing route complete to Shane Hooks. 
And they do have enough for the first down. They needed 15. They got 16. You know, when you allow Shadur Sanders to stay in the pocket upright, he will pick you apart. Clean pocket. He's going through his read. He knows where he wants to go with the football. Throws a dart. On the ground, this is Wilkerson plunging forward for an extra yard. Got maybe three on first down. And this is the part of Jackson State that I've seen them improve from a season ago when they can drive the ball methodically down the field when needed. They can settle down, run their offense, quick throws, good hard running. Wilkerson with a huge hole on the left side. Stiff arm into the end zone. Touchdown, Jackson State. A 26-yard scamper by Savion Wilkerson, and the Tigers are pouring it on. Wilkerson's a good one. They say he's a pro, and you like how he finished off the run. The vision, the bounce. Watch the quick little stiff arm mm. in honor of Walter Payton, <laughs> the greatest stiff arm of all time. You can't touch me. So Coach Prime says, let's go for two. They are a perfect one for one already on two point conversions today. Daniels, the man in motion, pitch inside to Stevens, but he does not get there. Two point conversion, no good. Let's take another look at that touchdown run by Wilkerson. That hole, that offensive line pushing some bodies. Yeah. And once you start to peak in the backfield so much at the passing game, then Wilkerson lets you know he's one of the best runners out there. Look at that stiff arm. <laughs> wow. In the home of Walter Payton, seeing a guy like Wilkerson deliver a stiff arm like that. Mm. And when you look at this atmosphere and what's going on, Coach Sanders said the model for the season was dominant. Well, you're taking on the number three ranked team in HBCU football, and they are dominating them right now in impressive fashion here in an electric environment. Five plays, 60 yard scoring drive, and under two minutes for Jackson State. They take a 28 to nothing lead. All right, let's see who's bringing the flavor. Presented by McDonald's. We'll have it after the kick. Give you some of the highlights of what went on this weekend, and especially this morning here in Jackson, Mississippi. And I used to always say the most intimidating road trip to me was down the road at a place called Alcorn State. On the reservation, as they call it. This place is becoming it. This, the, the numbers. I mean, 55,000 plus per game. Oh, it's awesome. All right, here we go. Let's see who's bringing the flavor presented by McDonald's. This was the scene early this morning in the parking lot for College Game Day. Jay, you were on. Absolutely. It was an electric experience in Jackson State. Brought it. And you saw it all on full display. Everything that's College Game Day. And Stephen A. Smith, the guest picker, surprised me. I didn't even know he was coming down for that. Southern down 28 to nothing. They get the ball back. They will start on the ground. A run up the middle for a gain of about four. If I can cap off one more thing, talk about why Dion's the hottest coach in, in America right now. Jackson State is the hottest HBCU in the country right now. Mm. In terms of enrollment number that's going, in terms of national spotlight, football team is good. I mean, they're growing by leaps and bounds, restoring a proud program. McCray trying to take another shot. The same Cassius Allen, but overthrew him. At the end of that play, we do have a man slow to get up. Looks like it's the right tackle, Jeremiah Stafford. How many times have we seen McCray settle for that deep go route up the sideline? I mean, the defense is winning when you're doing that. Third and five. McCray felt the pressure. Flag is out. Gets out of bounds. Couple yards short of the marker. Probably hold, yeah. 
Quarterback holds the ball that long and takes off running. It's normal to call. Holding. Offense. Number 62. 10-yard penalty. Replay. Third down. That's the center, Dallas Black. Coming into the game, we knew Jackson State was hyped up. They just got their SWAC championship rings this week. A lot of guys were wearing it around their neck in warm-ups. Are you surprised, though, by this score? Yeah, absolutely. I, mean, I just thought Southern. I knew Jackson State was going to score points. I mean, that's what they do. They've got too many weapons not to. But I thought Southern would be able to keep up a little bit more. I thought they had success running the football more. and Their rushing attack has not been there. Third and six. This is Rhymes. The Tigers will give him that run underneath as he stops short of the 30-yard line, fourth down. So on fourth and six, Southern is going to be forced to punt. Well, if your offense can't do it, maybe your special teams can create something. I mean, they just... It's been flat. A booming kick as Willie Green will back up and will just fall down at the 31. A 40-yard punt. So this was before. Championship rings before the game. That was Dewan Warren for Jackson State showing me his championship ring. They were wearing that around his neck. And all the guys, they were hyped up about getting the rings this week. They won the SWAC last year. They're trying to repeat as champs this season. Uh, here's where I get myself in trouble. That ring, looked, good, that ring looked really nice. However, it was missing a, a title on there. It didn't have Cricket Celebration Bowl champions on there. They, they, they want that. For them... They're not satisfied with another SWAT title. They're on a mission to go and represent this conference in Atlanta. Incomplete. That pass was intended for Wilkerson. Excuse me, Marshall. Did I just take the little buzz away from it by bringing up the fact that they lost the cricket celebration bowl? But, but I think that's a good point because there's still a lot of motivation in this team. They're undefeated this season, but they still have a lot to accomplish. On oh, second down. Sanders' pass is tipped at the line and complete. I wonder if they'll bring some pressure. That's why it's so tough because you think third and long situation, you want to sit back and play zone, but you know, Sanders is so effective at picking apart defenses. So I think you have to leave your comfort zone and you have to blitz him and hope you can get man coverage and they, your defense can hold up. Under five minutes to play here in this third quarter. Third and ten for the Tigers. That's Coleman going in motion. Sanders in trouble and he is going to be sacked by Trey Lang. Lang has been in the backfield all day long. Trying to escape. Good job of containing Take a look at the end of this tackle. Look at this little pile drive right here. Ooh, he could have been flagged for that one there. On a quarterback, you're not allowed to use your body to drive him into the ground. Good tackle. Lane's been active a little bit for this defense. End over end punt as Southern will back up to receive that. Chandler Whitfield. Good job on special teams. Stopped at the 25. A 50-yard punt by Sam Johnson. Take a look at some HBCU news and notes from around the conference. Two SWAC games on ESPNU next week. Alabama A&M going against Mississippi Valley State. And then we got a game at Prairie View A&M on Friday night, 7.30 Eastern. Well, it'll be there. It'll be an exciting time going down to Itabina. And that Alabama... A&M team, watch out for them. We talked about them early with only one loss. And we talked about college game day going there. But I got, I got better HBCU news for you. Howard University is in first place in the MIAT. South Carolina State upset loss at Morgan State. 
the Bison, one of the only undefeated teams in the conference. We don't know how long that's going to last because we're an academic institution. I, I think I heard someone say H U. You know. <laughs> Second and nine for Southern, under four minutes here in this third quarter. The Cray completes to his big target in Allen. See, when I see that, that's a completion, right? And, and folks say, okay, you got to complete a pass, something different than a fade route. No, no, the last route you want to run against man-to-man -man coverage is a comeback or a curl route, something where you're coming back to the quarterback, where you're stationary. So for the gain of six, it would be third and three. They need to run some rub routes. You know, have some guys, when you're playing man-to-man, -man, you have them bump into each other. Keep it close right in front of you. Four wide receivers, they decide to go on the ground and they do pick up the first down with Ligon. They spread out the defense. They pick up five up the middle. And Ligon's a good-looking freshman out of Prattville, Alabama. We've seen him have the ability to make a cut and move in small gaps in a hurry. Just a freshman. He's got a bright future. backfield. McCray tried to get the crossing route incomplete. Was looking for Chandler Whitfield. You know, coming into the game, we were excited to see the legs of B. Sean McCray. Haven't seen him run that much. Not many dialed up quarterback runs, especially in this RPO offense. And you would have thought he would have escaped a little bit more, called his own number, but I'm giving credit to that Jackson State defense, particularly Aubrey Middle from his linebacker position. Quick throw, Allen run after the catch. They're gonna spot him just short, a yard short of the first down, a gain of nine. So you're saying that's Jackson State taking that part of his game out. Yep. The, the, the pass rush has been controlled aggression. They, they've had spies on him, and we've seen him try to escape a couple times, but they've been able to track him down. So they've really limited his mobility in this game. On third down, they go back to the ground and pick up the first down. First down. So. You know, the, the way this offense is set up, if McCray doesn't put up numbers, and they look very average, and they're getting dominated by a superior defense right now. Well, his favorite target has been Cassius Allen at the top of the screen. First down. Stepping up. Here's McCray calling his own number, but didn't have much. <laughs> that defense swarmed quick. Well, and, and as soon as he decided to break contain and cross the line of scrimmage, he had linebackers waiting for him. So this is a good job, keeping everything in front. Then when he makes up his mind, Baron Hobson quick to the football again, along with Brown. So what looked like a big hole just turned into a gain of two, second and eight. McCray trying to take a shot over the shoulder, incomplete, was looking for Whitfield. That was into double coverage. Travis Hunter was there on the coverage. I mean, Hunter left his man to go try and track down this ball as an interception. That wasn't his man. His man was 15 yards back to see him in the middle of the screen. He left his man when he saw the ball leave McCray's hand and almost came up with the play there. Talk about the ability to change direction. That's why Travis Hunter is so special. 30 seconds to play here in this third quarter. Third and eight for the Jaguars. McCray looking left, now flushed out, trying to throw a pick, it ball is out, goes out of bounds with the collision. That noisy playmaker, that's Aubrey Miller. And the angle of pursuit, look at the angle of pursuit by Miller. He's locked and loaded on. And then 
had a chance to hit the ball loose, but that's a perfect angle. As a quarterback, where do you go when they get to you that fast in a hurry? You, you think Miller's an NFL linebacker? Absolutely. I mean, he likes contact. He's got thud. You know, transferred here from Missouri where he played at Missouri and has been a starter here, candidate for SWAT, defensive player of the year. One of the leaders on this defense has clock. the physical tools. With the clock running, that'll be it for the third quarter. That's the end of the third quarter. At the end of three, it has been all Jackson State up 28 to nothing. What a weekend it has been here in Jackson. Come on back for the start of the fourth quarter. Red Riding Hood loved visiting Grandma's house. Unfortunately, others did too. But after saving big with early holiday deals at Amazon, she was ready for those uninvited guests. <laughs> Who's a good boy? Apparently the big bad wolf. Hi, Dr. Rick. It's Julie. Just leaving you a voicemail. My number is 618-437-7425. Okay. It's for Can Dr. anyone Dad. tell me what Julie did wrong there? You gotta repeat the number. I mean, no one's ever gonna get it the first time. Nope. Didn't leave her last name. No, the, the phone tells you who called. Yeah, she didn't mention a good time to call her back. How am I supposed to know when to call her back? Uh, no, she just sh shouldn't have left a voicemail. Nine out of ten times a text will do. Progressive okay. can't save you from becoming your parents, but we can save you money when you bundle home an auto with us. When it comes to doing, getting what you need starts with our app. Need it today? Pick it up curbside. Need it to you? We deliver. Your trunk? Our trucks. However you get it, we've got you. It's made for doing. Download the Home Depot app. Mucinex Night Shift fights your worst nighttime symptoms so you can get to sleep and wake up ready to go. How could you? So rise above the misery. Wake up to a new you. How dare you? Today you're back and ready to go. This will not stay. Oh, huh? oh God, nuts. With Mucinex Night Shift, it's not cold and flu season. It's always comeback season. At Drive Time, we approve 99% of people who apply, and we show you your real down payment. And your real monthly payment. Right. I almost forgot. So I can get approved on my phone and see my real down payment. And your real monthly payment. Yep, we get it, Tim. Do you get it, Deb? Yes. In basically 30 seconds, you can get approved and see your real down payment. And your real monthly payment. And your monthly payment. And your monthly payment, all on your phone. Wow. That's a lot. I like it. Get your down payment, monthly payment, and find the car you need all on your phone. Get the real deal at drivetime.com. I booked tickets to Paris with my boyfriend, and we broke up. Uh, it's not you, it's me. So I took the next best person. Pick me. My sister. Sure, we were the only sisters on that romantic cruise, but it's not like my ex would have packed an umbrella. And as we sailed along the Seine, I thought, my sister is the best boyfriend I've never had. One app, over 300,000 experiences you'll remember. Do more with Viator. Senior day here at Jackson State. The Tigers are showing out up 28 to nothing over Southern. Let's take a look at our game summary. Jackson State looking for their first shutout of the season. Shador Sanders has over 200 yards of total offense. Three touchdowns, including two on the ground. Sanders really took control of that second quarter, and that's why Jackson State has this big lead. Pocket collapsing. Strong throw by McCray on the money. That's complete to Allen. So Allen has been his most dependable receiver today. That's been where he's gone the most with the football as well, every chance he got. And I think a lot of that's because, you know, Jackson State put Travis Hunter on Pete, you know, their, their go-to receiver for Southern University. But this defense is played, I mean, lights out. I don't think anybody would have told that they would pitch a shutout 
potentially against Southern University. There's a tug of the jersey and an interception. Shiloh Sanders with the interceptions. DeJuan Warren with the deflection. And Sanders said in practice, if I do something, I'm going to come out with the drum major high step show off. <laughs> When you're hot, you're hot. This is just good team defense. This is how you play the free safety position. Come over, worn with the tap, with the tip drill. And good recognition by Shiloh Sanders. And this is good cornerback play as well. Good job by Dewan Warren. Now, did they miss a defensive pass interference there? Trying to give them a little before, shove there. Before, <laughs> before the ball, the ball was in the there. air, there was a lot of grabbing going on. So unfortunately, we do have a lightning strike within eight miles of the stadium, which means we're gonna be in a weather delay for everyone's safety, not just the players on the field, but everyone here in the stadium as well. So with that, Jackson State up 28 to nothing here in this fourth quarter. We will step aside for this weather delay with lightning in the area. We will keep you updated when we will get back to play here in Jackson, Mississippi.